Mm -hmm. ah, how did you get here? Paano ka nakapasok dito ha? Well anyways, nandito ka na rin sa bahay ko, bahay ni Kuya. Uh, allow me to share to you. By the way, thank you for finding this channel. This channel aims to give you fresh new insight on how you can add value to your life. Thank you very much for joining me today. Grab your notes because right here and right now, I'm going to share to you two quick insights, okay? Are you ready? So here we go. By the way, this is Coach Neil, your kuya, your brother. Okay, here we go. Today, let's talk about how we can save money. Let's do this very quick. I have so many friends that say, Brother Neil, every time I go to the grocery, you only stand on the five items only. It goes beyond and I could no longer save. And here's my suggestion to you. If ever you have this dilemma, di ka mga pag-save, when you go to the grocery, instead of buying 5, 10, you buy 20, you buy 15, and gone are your money. Here's my insight to you. Fresh new insight. Check this out. Never go to the grocery store, never go shopping, never buy anything in the department store, grocery store, when you are hungry. Why? Ask me why. Because your hunger will switch on your appetite. And once you are inside the grocery store, your appetite will dictate your wallet. Like you bring your basket, you know, you want to buy, bam, 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 bam. And then in the corner of your eye, you saw one, one pack of spaghetti items and it's all ready, all set for cooking. And then you said, no, parang nasarap pag spaghetti ngayon because it's weekend. And then you buy it. You know what? You know what dictates you to buy it? your appetite which is switched on by your hunger so next time you want to go to the grocery store and if you want it to save stick to your budget stick to your list never go there hungry you get that one number two quick insight number two here we go let me drink first to. insight number two my friend check this out you oh i know you you have extras you have surplus of money sometimes you get bonus right Check this out. Listen to this. Your extras, your surplus of money doesn't mean splurging. Some people can see when they have their, their bonus, their extras, their surplus of, of 5,000, 10,000, 15,000. Pak, they think right away, boom, let's go buy this, let's go buy that, let's go there, let's go here, let's go. Let's go everywhere, here, there, and everywhere. No. No, 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 no. Wrong, my friend. Your extras, your surplus right now, that's in your wallet, it's, it doesn't mean splurging. It means saving. Now, before the pandemic, I tried to save. And it goes down. And actually, it depleted. Ask me why? I know you're saving too. But minsan kasi yung sinisave natin, nagkukulang na siya short. Why? Because we, we can never tell how long the dry season or the drought will be. Right? Am I making sense to you? Are you following? So, instead of splurging, because you have the surplus, save my friend save for the rainy season i'm making sense to you and let's do this very quick maybe we can get to number three be careful with this okay everybody says sur supply now when you are into a relationship i have a friend he's so in love i saw him the grocery store he, he his basket his his card is so loaded i asked him bro i think i think you bought everything and he said to me kuya nil coach uh, I, this is for my girlfriend. Go, Why? That's too much. Are they really one barangay? I said, no. Feeling because she loves me more every time I, I, I gave and I, you know, and I, I bring all these supplies. And then she, he said to me, Coach, can you give me your, share to me your wisdom? And I said, kakantayin ko yung wisdom ko sa'yo. Yung, yung, yung suggestion, yung coaching ko sa'yo. And I sing it to him. It goes this way. Because if you're only using me to feed your family, you're really not in love. So let me go. I must be free. Listen to this. Some people likes us. They want us, and they 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 say they love us. But actually, they love us for what we supply. Well, maybe that is not your issue, that is your concern. But there are people who are going through that. So, if ever there are people in your bubble right now who are, whose concern is that, that concern, that issue, give them the piece of advice. Now, some people, they, they don't really like us. They don't really love us. They only care and love us because of the supply that we bring. So, if you want to save, talking about money sense, 
Don't go shopping when you're hungry. Your, your surplus doesn't mean you're splurging and when you wanted to save money, check your relationship. Be aware, open your eyes, open your head, open your, <laughs> not your head, open your mind. Evaluate the relationship. Is it really about love or is it about the supply that you free? Thank you for joining me today for this, for this, for this entertainment that we have. And if you are not subscribed to this channel yet, please do subscribe and help me reach out to many people. And I strongly believe that we are, if you are blessed with this, uh, share the blessing. Um, also, I would like to say, uh, if you watch this alone, please don't make it happen again. Share. Share this, this video to your friends and let them be blessed as well. I hope you, you gained some insight today on money sense and hope to catch you again next time. God bless you. Take care. It's not for splurging. Babu. Bye.